Today we're here at Golf in the Round to take a look at the differences between the current grooves that are on our wedges and the new conforming grooves that are to be used starting in 2010 on the PGA Tour. We want to see the actual performance differences when a ball hits the green between the two different types of grooves. In this test we'll use a Tylus Volke 09 wedge with the current grooves and a new Tylus Volke 2010 Spin Mill CC wedge with the new conforming grooves. All shots with both wedges will be hit on our robot JJ2 and we will be using Titleist Pro V1 golf balls. So let's go get JJ2 set up to hit some shots and see firsthand what effects the new grooves have on shot performance. Let's start by hitting some shots out of the ferry with the Volke 09 spin milled wedge. This wedge is similar to the wedges that we use today and will one day in the future be de deemed non-conforming. The first club we're going to test is the Titleist Volke 09 spin milled and these shots are going to be hit out of the fairway. As you notice when this shot hits the green the ball is going to hit and backspin at about six to eight feet. Here comes another uh, spin mill out of the fairway, and as you can see, this ball also hits and releases about six to eight feet, very similar to our first shot. In this last shot, you can see that the ball also hits and spins backwards six to eight feet. So our conclusion with this spin mill wedge out of the fairway, we're seeing about six to eight feet of backspin uh, for each shot. On this next shot, as you can see, with the Volke CC wedge, the ball hits and also spins backwards six to eight feet, uh, very similar to what we saw with the Volke 09. As you can see with this next shot, this ball also hits and releases backwards, and we're seeing similar backspin as we saw with the previous shot. In this next example, you can see that the uh, Volke CC wedge is still hitting the green and spinning backwards six to eight feet. So in conclusion, we can say that really the performance of both of these wedges are very similar. Uh, even though they have differing grooves, uh, we're seeing similar performance on the greens. In conclusion, the fairway shots with both wedges perform relatively the same, both having about six to eight feet of backspin. So the new conforming grooves really do spin the ball just as much out of the fairway as the, the current non-conforming groove wedges. So players shouldn't, have any, shouldn't notice any difference when hitting full shots out of the fairway. Let's now get down and dirty and hit some shots out of the wet rough using the Volke 09 spin milled wedge and let's see what effect this will have on shot performance. It looks like on this shot out of the rough that this ball definitely doesn't spin as much as the, the ball that was hit out of the fairway. We see that the ball actually rolls forward a couple feet uh, opposed to rolling backwards. Take a look at this shot, very similar to the previous shot. Out of the rough, we definitely noticed a wider dispersion with our shots. As an example, with this shot, it hits a little bit wide of the green, but you still see that it only rolls one or two feet. This is the Titleist CC wedge. Let's see how it performs on the green compared to the Volke 09. As you can see, when this ball hits, it rolls six to eight feet, opposed to two to three feet that we were seeing out of the Volke 09. Here's another good example of how the Volke CC wedge performs out of the rough. In conclusion, the wet rough shots with the wedges definitely performed differently. The Volke 09 hit and rolled forward about two to three feet with the Volke CC rolling six to eight feet. It looks like the difference between both wedges is about four to six feet with the CC wedge rolling further. The new conforming grooves definitely had an effect on spinning less, whereas the wedges we use today, like the Volke 09, definitely spun more out of the wet rough. 
Thanks for joining us while we compare these clubs. I hope you join us soon for some more interesting test results.